69A. 69A. Okay. 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 Okay.
you should bring seven fistfuls of sliced beets. Veshiva kuni pirma de karati, and seven fistfuls of sliced uh, leek. Vechamisha kuni preda, and six, uh, uh, five fistfuls of preda. What is that? Some say it's a wild cherry tree. Some say it's a, it's a wood of a wild cherry tree. Okay, so the arts will translate. Utilza kuni de talpachi, three three fistfuls of lentils. The kuna de chmuna, a fistful of cumin. The kuna de chavli, a kuna of rope. Ukenegdon, a a fistful of rope. Ukenegdon kansa petirta, the intestinal fat, which is kansa of of a firstborn animal. The levashal, he should cook it together. The lechal, he should eat it. The lishti abasre shikr charifa, and afterwards he should drink a strong um, spirit. The tevis that was fermented in the month of tevis, and uh, this sort of will cure the blood coming from the mouth. Lechocha, this is an ache of the molars. Amar Rabbi Rav Huna, lesi tuma yechida, should bring a head of garlic that has only a single clove. Uh, the Nimr say, uh, evidently, by the way, this is a common thing. I, I, I grew garlic this year, and for some reason, many of the clo- many of the heads were single cloves. The Nimr say, the Mishcha, Umilcha, you should grind it together with with oil and salt. The Nesve Atufra, the Ilyuna, you should put it on the thumb of Ilyuna, the the um the the I'm sorry, the nail of the thumb. That that's the uh, nail eyeing in carrot the keratin growth that grows on top of the thumb. That who gisa the kayavle on the side of the hand that hurt the side of that has the molars that hurt him. But the header lay gadanfa delisha and surround it with a ring of dough. The nizdar labisra, but make sure that the um the al the the olive the the garlic with the olive oil with the oil and salt doesn't touch the flesh. Because the chivra because it can cause leprosy. Okay. Lechinki. I don't know what supportive tonsillitis is. Currently, it's an, inf- an inflammation of the tonsils that generates pus, according to the art scroll. Omer of Yechanan, Rav Yechanan says, Chumsi Kimamru, pyrethrum leaves, I don't know what pyrethrum is, is as effective as bald money. I'm not sure exactly what that is either. Although the article says that it was an herb that was commonly used for remedy. Okay. The ikra the chumsi adif mimamru. The root of the, the, the pyrethrum plant is better than, than bold money. The name kipikumi should hold it in his mouth. Hani l'ukmi. This is to stop the swelling. Okay. Next next phase is lavshuli. This is to, to form the the uh, the blisters that will relieve the, that will gather the pus and eventually relieve it. Yeah. Lacy pare deresh nafia. You should take the br- bran from the top of the sieves, the top of afrayu, and lentils in their earth. The shuvlilto fenugreek, the chomarta de chusa hop blossom. The ninka kamguza vikume. He should keep a nut size in his mouth, and that will cause the these these blisters to form. Lift tuche to sort of be able to drain them, the pus to drain out of them. Lin pechle lechavre tichle chiyorta bekilo de chetza. His friend should blow into his mouth using a straw, um, using a wheat straw. He should blow white cress. Okay, and finally, la suke, so that fresh skin should grow underneath it and and, and remove the blisters. Lacy afra mitula the basic he say. Okay, take earth from the shadow of a basic he say. What is this? So this is the days where bathrooms were outhouses, meaning the house was outside the uh, general population area. And it was a small hut, and obviously there was no flushing toilets. And uh, there, there were rocks that were set set as toilet seats. The shade of that rock is considered potentially damaging. The Gemara talks about this in, in a number of different places. So the, you're taking a risky, this is a, a, a dangerous substance. The, the earth that's in the shade of the, the, the toilet seat of the outhouse. It's not a toilet, obviously, whatever it, whatever you call it. Okay. The nigvul beduvsha, you should take this earth and knead it with honey. The nechel, and you should eat it. The malile, the malile, it will be, it will be beneficial. It will be effective. Yeah. Okay. So we we mentioned yesterday, that, you know, it, 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 this, first of all, spiritually, these things are all valid today. Although it's questionable whether one should engage in these practices. 
I believe that only there's only one recommended remedy that the Talmud discusses that's recommended today. It's Gemara and Shabbos. If you person get, chokes on either a fish bone or a um, uh, or a chicken bone, or he he can he takes an identical bone, he puts it on his forehead, and he's there's something to say. I can't remember what what it is. Uh, that I believe is the only remedy in Talmud that we're allowed to use today. Everything else is not something that we uh, we use. Okay, anyway, but. Um, Unless there's sort of a, unless it's something we can understand medically. If that's the case, it could be it is permitted. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Lavarsam, for I don't know how to pronounce this word. It's a Qatar. Okay, Qatar, okay, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, anyway. Qatar. I'm sorry? Qatar. Qatar. Okay. It's an inflammation of the mucous membranes of the head, which results in secretion of mucus of the nostrils. I'm not exactly sure what that is either. Okay. Uh, let me just see what Rashi says here. Yeah, Rashi says it's an illness from a head, the, the head that comes through the nodes. It's uh, easier for me to understand. Okay. Kipsikta, uh, um, where are we in one second? Lacey Kipsikta the Nishtar. He should take a, a cedar cone of ammoniac. I don't know what ammoniac is. Although Rashi, and apparently the word ammoniac is, is accurate in, uh, in um, old French as well. Rashi says ammonica. Okay, does anyone know what ammoniac is? Okay. Okay. A, a, a nut size of um, sweet galvanum. A, uh, a spoonful of white honey. Okay. Okay, a natla is a measurement. Bas mechuzah means the, the the people of mechuzah had a, had their own natla measurement. Mm. So you take a natla full the type of natla that's used in mechuzah of chamer nikida of clear wine. Nishkalinu b'hadi adadim, and you uh, boil all these all these stuff together. Bashal nishter when the ammoniac is cooked, then you know that bashal ekuli everything else is cooked. And is the aromatic <clears throat> aromatic gum resin of the Southwest Asian herb of the carrot family used as an expectorant and stimulant in thousands. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so what, what, what was that again? It's a complicated definition. <laughs> it, so you're taking a substance from the carob tree family. No, no, no. It's, it's uh, a gum resin. It's a gum. It's a gum resin from a Asian herb. Asian herb, okay. Yeah. Garima ammoniacum. Okay, whatever. And it's used as an expectorant, which makes sense for good luck. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, the Eloi, Lacey, Revi, also the Chaba, the Iza. He should bring a uh, Revius of the Iza Chivarte, of the milk of a white goat. And he should drip it over three cabbage stalks. Now, I can pardon my ignorance, but I'm not exactly what, sure what a cabbage stalk is. My cabbage doesn't have a stalk. I guess maybe they mean that inside part of the cabbage. So cabbage typically, run, there's sort of this um, um, cone shape at the bottom of the cabbage. That might be the cabbage stalk. Wait, the, the cabbages you buy at the store, they actually mm -hmm. grow on a stalk. Oh, they actually do grow on a stalk. Okay, interesting. But yeah, there's one there. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm completely ignorant here. <laughs> you didn't grow up on a farm. Okay. We're, we're the farmers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's interesting. I, I actually, I actually was at a farm processing harvested cabbage, cabbage, like in massive quantities, but I did not see it growing. So, okay. So you have a, a cabbage, three cabbage. So it, it, um, this milk drips over three cabbage stalks. The nivcheshe begavza de, de marmahin. You, 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 um, you stir it with a twig of a marmahin tree. The chiboshal gavza. Yeah, one second. Yeah. The chiboshal gavza be marmahin. Once this twig is cooked, bashal ekuli, everything else is cooked, and you drink this potion, and it's okay. Vilay, if that doesn't work, lacy nifke the kalba chivra, the excrement of a white dog, the nigvel benatva, and eat it with balsam. Balsam, I believe, is a type of spice. Is that right? Balsam is a kind of spice. What? Balsam type of spice. Okay. It is. Uh, okay. The kama de efshar 
nafkalo and echel. And again, so you're mi- you're mixed, you're kneading it together. But then what you're trying to do is pulling out the the, the, the balsam and not eating the excrement, the mifric, because it it uh, causes an unsettling of the limbs. Uh, and uh, that you know that can have uh, there's uh, what do they call it? It's a side effects, severe side effects. Okay. <clears throat> Legira, okay. Gira is an arrow. It's a piercing type of pain. Uh, Arsgrok, Arsgrok thinks that it might be pericarditis, um, which I never heard of until until uh, fairly recently. You know, together with myocarditis and you know the side effect. But uh, <clears throat> apparently, it's some piercing pain of the heart. What's the solution? Lace gira de lilta. You should bring an an arrow of lilus. Lilus is is a type of plant. It's also the name of a the, of a female demon, perhaps the female demon. Demon. Arsgul explains that it's it might be a, me, a meteoric stone that sometimes falls during a hailstorm. Okay, v'nichve, turn it upside down. V'nishti, maya ilave v'nishta, v'nishti. Pour water over it and drink that water. V'ilai, if that doesn't work. Lesi mi maya de ishti mi ayukalba Find water that a dog ate, drank at nighttime. V'nizdar mi giluya. And but be careful of giloy. Okay, what 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 is giloy? Giloy is if there are, there are snakes around and the snake sips from from uh, water, then the, we're concerned the snake may have injected venom into the water and the water is now poisonous. So you have you have to make sure that a dog drank from it at night. And you also have to be careful that this wasn't uncovered at, you know endlessly and nobody made sure that a snake didn't drink from it or that or that there's no snakes around. Okay, so it was either somebody was watching it or there was no snakes around or it wasn't uncovered for very long. <clears throat> okay, Ligiluya, let's say somebody did drink from, from uh, uncovered water. So it's concerned here, maybe, you know, we need an, an antidote to the venom. Anpika de Chamra, an Anpik uh, of, of undiluted, the Chamra Chai of undiluted wine. Lemursa. These, these are for uh, these uh, blisters, pimples, ab, 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 an abscess. An pick of the chamra ba'alo tula ono. An an pick of wine mixed with red aloe. Okay, wait a second. The pircha de liba. This is a, fa- a fainting heart. What do you do? Lacing tlas brush iso de sari. Three loaves that of barley bread, the nishtarino and soak it. Bekimcha leover ilu yarbon yomer. Kimcha is the same thing as kutach. This is sort of a a uh, sour milk cereal type of type oh. of dish. Famous kutach, which gets you know kutach is probably the number one food that's discussed in in Talmud. Yeah. Um, but the, this kutach has to be less than forty days old. Okay. Venechol venishti abesrayel and. Uh, Uh, and afterwards, you should drink a diluted wine. Okay. Omrlei Rav Acha Medifti the Ravina Rav Acha Rav Acha from Difti says to Ravina the Koshkin the Parach Libe. This is not uh, these foods are not going to strengthen him. His heart will continue to be weaker. So Omrlei, I know the Yukur the Libe Amri. This I meant for there was the heaviness of the heart. You eat these lighter foods. The Pircha the Libe for a lightness of the heart. You need to eat heavier foods. Lacey, Tlas, Brushis, Brushais, the heating, three loaves of, of uh, wheat bread, Minishterin, we soak it, Bidovsha, with honey, Venechel, and you eat it, Venish, Debas, Rayo, Chamachai, and then you eat full strength wine afterwards. But Sircha, the Liba, this is heart pain, Lacey, Tlas, Bey, Naya, three measurements of mint, Ube, also, the Chmuna, a egg volume of cumin will be also the shumshami, an egg volume of sesame, the lechel, and he should eat it. Next variety of illnesses. Like, first of all, like, the interesting thing I find here is that uh, heart problems are not a new phenomenon. You know, no. <laughs> contrary no, no, no. to maybe what Ansel Keys thought of the 50s, people have been having heart problems for time immemorial. Okay. Like, Ev Mei for uh, <clears throat> intestinal pain. So this is a different, obviously, a different category of illness. Tlas mea papali arechto, three hundred long um, peppers. The article brings down from one of these scientific books that it, maybe it's the kernel of the pepper. I don't know what the kernel of the pepper means. Presumably, it means the seed part. That's yeah. called the kernel. I don't, I don't know. Maybe someone can enlighten me. 
But the, the Gemara doesn't mention kernels. It just says 300 peppers. Okay, I wonder if these peppers are spicy, by the way. <laughs> it makes the, it makes the, Ill, Ill, the, uh, the um, uh, cure much more difficult. Okay, what do you do? The pain of the intestines by the pain of the throat, right? Yeah, exactly. We call Yemi and every day, Nishti Meyaminayo Bechamro. You should drink. I don't know how you drink a pepper. Maybe you soak it out. I'm not sure. Maybe you crush it. You drink. What, what is the kernel? I mean, I'm not. When you cut the pepper along the. When you've got the stem on the inside, I think this stuff on the. Okay, it's interesting because the Gavar doesn't mention the kernels. It's the arts quote, quotes from this book called Biblical and Talmudical Medicine, uh, which I'm not familiar with. <laughs> okay, where are we here? Okay. The Koyami Nishta Mami, now every day you drink 100 of these peppers, you bring 300, it's going to be a three day uh, treatment. Bekham, bekhamra with wine. Okay. The Gemara talks about the effectiveness of this treatment in case you were in case you doubted it and wanted to try it at home. So this is from black pepper. It's not from um, uh, it's not chili peppers, it's the kernels from black peppers. Interesting. Right. Interesting. Okay, over here we talk about long black peppers, long peppers. The Gemara says here it's long peppers. Okay, so so Robin the the Minarish Robin from the town of Narish over the Labarti the Ravashi Ravashi daughter the Ravashi's daughter apparently had this intense t- intestinal pain and he prepared for her mea vechamshi mehani 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 didon of itzia they brought 150 of the local pepper lo, local peppercorns of itzia and she was cured by them. There's a fellow called the long pepper. Yeah. Uh, interesting. And again, it's a verdict. Remedy. Ayurvedic. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Touch Ayurvedic. Shall tell uh, Charles to come here. Uh, Charles Elder, that is. Okay. Uh, oh, mm. oh, Maybe he can explain a lot of this to, to, to <laughs> us. It's interesting. Uh, there's a um there's a company in in uh in um Eugene called Mountain Rose Herbs. Yeah. And they have like thousands of these, all these interesting. Like some of the, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. I just see it, and it's most of it's most of it's like right, you know unprocessed ag product uh, but they sell all these types of interesting all these a lot of these um ingredients you can buy there oh these spices and all the stuff yeah. so they kosher it's called mountain mountain rose herb not everything's kosher but a lot of it is for a large amount of it and uh, the guy walking around like sometimes like, i can ask him like what in the world is this and they're telling me oh this is uh, this type of medicine they use this uh, these plants half the stuff i can't even pronounce okay uh, interesting, interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Lechirza for an intestinal worm, anpika de chamro be atafro, an anpik of wine with a laurel with a laurel leaf. Uh, one second. Lechirza chevra for a wine intestinal worm, lacy bizra galgilo. You bring it the seed of a rocket plant. I don't know what a rocket plant is. Then it's sire bishitzig, and you wrap it in cotton cloth. Then this, then is, then you soak it in water. Then it's and you drink it. However, in Venice Dorm, you also have to be careful of the kernel uh, of this, uh, the, 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 this, this rocket plant kernel. The Eloi, the Eloi, may not the Mayone, because if he swallows it, then it can cause it can cause a puncture of the intestines. Okay, lemeser lemeser to regulate the bowels. This means that if somebody has diarrhea instead of eating a banana, there's another solution here also. Season retief and bimaya, fresh penny royal soaked in water. I don't know what penny royal is. Um, it's used in making of tea nowadays. Hey, for me, I believe. Okay, maybe you can try it. Lemishra, this is the opposite. So somebody's constipated and needs to re- and he needs to relieve himself. Uh, so then you need your vish to bimaya. You take the penny roll when it's dry and you put it in water. The simonach, a way to remember this. Itza retiva de sochar nahara. A fresh itza dams the river. 
Okay, maybe eats. Some say that eats says rushes according to the according to the notes here. Okay, letichlo is is a bloated spleen. Lacy shev bine de mayo. You take seven water leeches, you dry them out in the sun. In the, in, I'm sorry, in the shades. And every day drink two or three of these with, with water. Wine. Wine, I'm sorry, with wine. Um, interesting, because I think these are, I don't think this would be kosher, and presumably that this is a life running illness, in which case there would be no compunction of doing so. Okay, the Eli, if this this treatment doesn't work, Lacey Tichlads de Uh wait a second. You take a she goat, the loy iftach, that has that, that a female goat that has not had children, when the betanura, you press it. I'm sorry, you take the spleen of, of this of this uh, she, this female goat that does not have children, you press the spleen on the inside of the oven. Venuki lahade, you make the person with the bloated spleen stand next to the oven. Venema, he should say, just like this spleen is drying up. Yabesh tichle, the pliny bar plenisa, the spleen of this per- this this person should dry up. The Eloi, if if there's no oven available, nitachia bene urvi debesa. Debesa chata. He should he should press the spleen between the cracks of a new house. The name of and he should make this and he should give this statement that this this spleen is going to dry out. The Eloi, if that doesn't work, lifke shichva the shachav shabbos. I don't know if the uh, the chavah kedusha will allow this. Maybe they'll let me know. Um, but uh, you take a patient who died on shabbos. You take the live person goes v'nishkle liyadi. He takes the hand of the corpse. He puts the hand of the corpse on his spleen. Just like this hand of this deceased person is going to dry up. The spleen of this person should dry up as well. No clue. Eli, if not, you take a fish. This is a lovely recipe. You cook this over a blacksmith coals. A blacksmith's coals. And you dip it into that uh, black liquid, black water of the blacksmith. And then you eat the fish, and then you drink from that blacksmith water. Okay, the Gemara says this blacksmith water is so potent. There was this goat to have a It would drink the blacksmith's water. When they slaughtered it, they could not find the spleen inside. Obviously, the spleen is one of the organs that is, is, is not necessary in the vast majority of circumstances to live with a spleen. One could live fairly well without a spleen under almost all circumstances. I think they, I think they, they figured out a reason for the spleen, but I think it's only necessary. It's like the appendix. It's only yeah. necessary in some very tiny select set of, of scenarios. Today also, when they obviously if they operate on somebody, they'll often take out the spleen anyway. Even even if it wasn't necessary, <clears throat> uh, because of this bloated spleen, which apparently could be deadly. <clears throat> but, well, uh, actually, uh, med- medical facts: uh, the spleen has a lot of immune cells in it, and it's uh, useful in immune function. But when people are in car wrecks, they often get ruptured spleens, and that's when they remove them. Right, right. Okay, very good. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. As I was about to say, I, I, I'm not so familiar with these things, so I, I could be could be wrong. Okay. Let's go um, to, okay, next recipe for this, next uh, potion for the spleen. The Eloi, lift the chavisa de chamer l'shmei. They should open a barrel of wine for his own personal use. Amal Ravacha braid the Rav Ravashi. Ravacha, the son of, 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 uh, of Rav, says Ravashi, hold on. <laughs> this, is a, this is a classical example. So the Gemara says that, uh, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of a good example. This would be something like if, if, uh, if you know, the solution to obesity is the guy should buy himself a treadmill. And typically, the answer is the opposite. Like if, if he had a treadmill, he would never. He, I'm sorry, is I'm sorry, is the opposite. If he could afford to buy himself, if he could afford to buy himself a treadmill, then he would never have become obese. You know, he's obese because he can't afford the treadmill. 
So in other words, anyone, the idea is here, obviously that's not exactly true, as we all know, but the, the concept here is sort of that like, anyone who could afford to buy a very expensive barrel of fine wine is going to be drinking it. And if they're drinking it, they would never get an inflated, a bloated spleen. Because people that could afford to drink wine don't get bloated spleens because the bloated spleen is coming from not, not drinking enough wine. So this is sort of a, you know, you're, you're offering this remedy, but it's obvious that anyone who could afford the remedy would never have the problem in the first place. Okay. So he says, Nobody would ever come presenting with this ailment if they can afford a, a barrel of wine. Okay, so, so what's the solution for somebody who can't afford a barrel of wine, who obviously is susceptible to this, this ailment? says, He should eat breakfast every day, bread in the morning, because it's beneficial for the entire body. This is hemorrhoids. What's the solution? Lacey Akiko is acacia. The ilva is aloe. Umartacha. Um, I'm sorry. One second. The is the which is quicksilver. It's one I know that quicksilver is used by the um, the naturopaths. Love quicksilver. Umartach Umartacha is is litharge. The chumarta the piline is a a fill and locket. It's this apparently is a gold, uh, uh, it's sort of a locket that has the the fragrance of Philon in it, which apparently is, apparently smells good. The Shiafa de Chamit de Chamimta, a dove's excrement. Beninket Beshachke de Kisna Bekaita. He should wrap them in flag in rags of cloth in the summer. With the Amar Gufna Bisisvasa and cotton rags in the winter. And then you should place it over the affected region. Okay, the Eli. If this doesn't work, lishte shikra marka. You should drink watered down beer. The uh, shigruna. One second. Okay, it's a disease of the the haunches and the hips. Some suggest that it is gout, while others contend that it is sciatica. I don't know what those are. Okay, lese pasia de munini. You should bring us a pot of small fish. Venig venigdere. Shitin zimnin aha matachte. He should roll it 60, to, uh, 60 times over the hip. Shitin zimnin aha matachte and 60 times on the other hip. Okay. Quicksilver is mercury. Mercury, okay, interesting. I guess, uh, yeah, mercury, mercury, I think, was, was considered much more useful for medication before the uh, modern, modern day. Okay. Let's mirt let's mer up. For a a uh, this is a urinary tract stone. Nasi and the, the, uh, the notes here bring down is a review who the had this illness and was an immense pain from it. We'll get to it when we learn about Mitzia. Nasi tlas nituf nitufyosa mishra. You should bring three drops of tar oil. Mishra de kufra, tar oil, tlas into yufe itzra de kar de karsi, and three drops of le leek extract. Utlas nitufyaiso the chamra and akida, and three drops of clear wine. The lishti take these these items lishle le ish ba'ama with a man in his in his uh, male uh, genitalia will isha by samakam and in a woman's genitalia of eloi. If that doesn't work, lese una de zika. He should bring the ear of a flask. The little they should hang it le ish ba'ama. Uh, for a man on on his uh, reproductive organ, and for a woman on her breasts, the Eli. If that doesn't work, lacey chuta de zuhurisa. You should bring a red string, the shate that was sewn by Duma Bas Duma, a uh, prostitute, the daughter of a prostitute. The little lele and 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 they should hang this red red string, a male in his reproductive organ, and a woman on on her breasts, the Eli. If that doesn't work, lacey kina. You should bring a, a, um, a louse from a male and a female. In other words, louses are, are common, you know, louses infect the, whatever they, they, they're on people. And you should bring the louse that has been attached to a man or, or climbing over him and a louse that was attached to a woman. But literally, you should hang it. Uh, male and female, uh, uh, you know, from the reproductive organs. The chimashtin. And when and when he and when he uh, urinates, nashtin asisna yevishta b'tzinura dedasha, 
he should he should urinate on dry thorns in a doorway. When the ayin and bechumarja dinafka the ayin should look out for the stone that comes out because that stone is the maali. The kulu tzimra, it's sort of it's an antidote for all types of fever. Okay. <clears throat> Article has a very interesting footnote in number 39, but not for now. Let's sim let's bra for an external fever. Lay say tilsa grieve sufli. You should take three measurements of day pits. Utilsa grieve atref adora. Three saw of ador leaves, which apparently the, the notes here say is an extremely valuable tree. Vinishkalinu kal chad lechude. You should cook each one separately. Put him in between the two pots that are being cooked. You uh, put the, these two, you take the two pots, you empty them into two basins. You bring a small table. And he, he, you have him rest over. So, so you put the table on top of each of the basins and you have him rest over each of the basins. So now remember, these basins are filled with boiling water of these day pits or ader, or ader leaves. So you imagine you put a small table on top, what's going to happen? The table's going to get very warm and he's going to start sweating from it. The naked me love a high, but be love a high. You have him go from one to the other. One, you put the table on one basin, put the table on the other basin, have him sit on both basins. Adenesic behavo until sort of uh, vapor starts coming up from his body, i.e. he starts sweating. And then he uses the, this hot water with, with, his, with his leaves to wash, to, to wash from it and, and to drink from it. But when he drinks, he should only drink from the water of the Eder leaves. Uh, but from the, from the water of the day pits, he should not drink. Because it causes infertility. Okay. For an internal fever. And I'm not exactly sure the difference between an internal and external fever. Maybe someone will explain that to me. Lacy, or how in the world are measured? Lacy, Shiva, Buni, Basilka, Mishev, Mishari. You bring seven uh, fistfuls of beets from seven different um, beet beds, i.e., from seven different areas where the beets were planted. You boil them with their earth. You eat them. And you take Atref, Adora, Bishikra, you drink the, the uh, leaves of of Adar again, Adora, Bishikra with beer. Oi, in the ta'alobimayan or the leaves of a grapevine that were that was drawn over a palm tree and you drink it with water. Okay, we'll see what we'll see one more here. The chazizta. The chazizta is a moist skin eruption. Apparently it's moist on the outside and dry on the inside. Again, I'm not familiar with the uh the dermatology of exactly what what this is. Although I will I will say that chazista is is quite a common ailment. Also appears of course shots. It's also listed as one of the invalidations of an estrog. So apparently this is the type of thing that can also occur on plants. This type mm -hmm. of dermatological feature. Again, I don't I'm not exactly sure what it's called in English or what it looks like or what the problem of it is. What's the solution? Lacy shev chiti. Take seven chiti uh, arzenaisa uh, plump wheat kernels. And roast them on a new metal shovel. The nafik mishkam in ayo, and there'll sort of be some oil that will ooze out of it, ooze out of it. Veneshef, uh, and use that oil to to uh, smear over that area, and it will cure it. I've seen barashi over the lahu over the chavim the dover acher. He uses cure for dover acher. Dover acher is a cure for it's a, it's a euphemism for leprosy. The itzi, and he was he was healed. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow we will begin with a lot of the cures, and then we'll get into some interesting, valuable medical advice. You should take at your own, at your own risk. And again, I'm not a medical doctor, and I'm not 100 percent familiar with these things. And then I think toward the end of tomorrow we get back on subject. Um. Yeah, we get back to the subject. So remember, how do we all, how do we get into this? Because we started off the paragraph with Misha Ochsel Kredikus, someone who had was was um. Um, possessed by the Kredikus spirit, which was, how did you get the Kredikus spirit? By drinking too much wine. Too much, I believe it was fresh wine. And then Abaya's mother, who, by the way, I, I was incorrect about that. Abaya's, Abaya's mother died when he was very young. Abaya's mother was the one who raised him, his nanny. It wasn't his mother. 
And she, of course, is the expert in all the cures. Throughout Talma, she's always offering cures. Uh, so she, so um, she started giving the cures, and there, therefore we got into a tangent and just went through discussing cures. In the meantime, got sidetracked with uh, the story of King of the Demons.